the 2023 Lotus Emira is the latest model from the legendary British sports car maker and the last to use an internal combustion engine. That's right. Lotus is preparing for an all-electric future, as previewed by the Avija hypercar. But before bidding adieu to its gasoline fuel traditions, the company will treat purists to one final gas-burning model. As the successor to the Evora GT, which is currently the only Lotus sold in the US, the Amira is more practical, has a far nicer interior, and offers active safety equipment for the first time. While the entry-level Amira will have a turbo 4 with 360 horsepower, Lotus offers a supercharged V6 with 400 ponies and an available manual gearbox. That means the Amira competes with Porsche's 718 Cayman and certain 911 variants. Featuring an exotic exterior inspired by the carbon fiber intensive Avija and using a bonded aluminum architecture inherited from the Evora GT, the Amira will bridge Lotus's gasoline past with its electric future when the car goes on sale in late 2022. The Amira will be sold first as a fully loaded first edition. However, the lineup will eventually add a more affordable entry level model. Mounted in the middle of the Amira will be one of two engines, a turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder or a supercharged 3.5-litre V6. The four-banger is sourced from Mercedes-AMG and makes 360 horsepower. It feeds the rear wheels through a dual-clutch automatic transmission, the only gearbox choice. The V6 is a Toyota-sourced unit that's carried over from the outgoing Evora GT. It pairs with either a torque converter automatic or a manual transmission. With the stick shift, Lotus says the 3.5-litre produces 400 horses and 317 pound-feet of torque. Unlike most other modern sports cars, the Amira will forego electric power steering for a hydraulically assisted setup that provides unsurpassed belief feel and feedback. During our initial test drive, we praised the Amira's balanced handling and brilliant steering, and we marveled at its commitment to driver involvement. When we get a chance to test the Amira at our own test track, We'll update this story with test results and more driving impressions. The EPA hasn't released estimates for the Amira's fuel economy and we haven't had a chance to test one ourselves on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy route. When we do, we'll update this story with results. For more information about the Amira's fuel economy, with a simple design and seating for two, the Amira's interior is both minimalistic and intimate. The driver faces a squared-off steering wheel and a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster. The material quality looks upscale, far better than in previous Lotus models, and we're glad to see physical switchgear for the climate controls. Likewise, the automaker also attempts to make its latest sports car easier to get in and out by making the door sills narrower and the door openings larger than they were in the Evora GT. Other practical improvements include a pair of cup holders in the center console and storage bins in the doors that can each allegedly accommodate a half-liter bottle. There are also 7 cubic feet of cargo space behind the seats and another 5 cubes in a storage bay behind the engine. The Amira's infotainment system will run through a 10.2-inch touchscreen mounted in the middle of the dashboard. Apart from controls on the steering wheel and the likelihood of voice commands, there are no physical controls to adjust the stereo's volume or tuning. Along with 12-volt and USB charging ports, the sports car will feature standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone functionality.